John was a very unique individual. A very strong, confident, competent. John had two personalities. There was two people in one. One, people knew him as an airline pilot. But the other side of him was a farmer. And we always used to joke around. Was he a, a farmer dressed up like an airline pilot or an airline pilot dressed up like a farmer? John and I met on a work trip um, where I was the flight attendant and he was, um, at the time, flight engineer. I think we had our first date in December and we're married by the following October. First met John and Penny probably back in um, 1987. They were starting their family and John was starting to acquire land to build the, uh, the farm as it exists today. And they were building this farm which took capital. I think Peg, you know, made sure that John and I and the three of us talked about, you know, the need for protecting his income. My parents were visiting from New York I remember my mom saying there was a phone call for me, and it was my brother-in-law, Jim. And I was watching uh, breaking news on CNN, and they said the uh, airplane hit the World Trade Center in New York City. And they were saying that the first airplane had been an American Airlines 767 from Boston. And I remember at that point just dropping to my knees and knowing, knowing in that instant that it had to be John. You can see something happening on television, you know it's real, but then to make that connection is very, very difficult. Knowing that your husband's airplane just went into that building, clearly there are no survivors, and yet a very vibrant person walked out the door only a couple of hours before. My father was a pilot and clearly brought in our, the majority of our family's income. Um, and without his income, without you know help and proper planning, we wouldn't be in this home. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't have been able to stay at my private high school that I was at. A lot of the coverage was term. The thing was to cover the need and um, make sure all the debt was covered and make sure that um, you know educations were provided for and things like that. So. So between um, what he had with private companies and what he had as a pilot, the combination of all those coverages, um, you know, saved the day, really. We all believe in individual responsibility. Take care of yourself, take care of your family, and provide for them. And John did that. He did that in his life, and he did it in his death. Our life today is very good. Uh, we still look out and see my brother-in-law who now operates the farm, operating the tractors, working around the farm, and I can't tell you how often I look out and think, that should be John, but it's not. Um, but we've had a very busy life with kids in school and growing up and all that goes on with that, and you know, you move on with your life. I heard one expression once that said it so well. They said, um, you never get over, you never get over it, but you get on with it. And I'd like to think that's what we've done. Mm -hmm.